helping they make dinner uh, like breakfast in the morning and some are making dinner some are taking care of the Airbnb because this lady has an Airbnb at her chateau like a bed and breakfast kind of thing so and every time there's like a party or new guests or something they are always like preparing the rooms or preparing meals and some of them work in the garden they have a beautiful vegetable garden it's very nice so so any of those things you can help with yes I think work away is a good program I am going back to my previous host uh, home today but uh, Katrin said her aunt is also welcoming work away so I might also go to her place to help with something as well because I would like to see how other families discotheques and maybe some bars so sometimes drunk people will come to your door <laughs> so that's why those people will lock the door but mm -hmm. usually if you live in some village and stuff they don't nobody locks their door but even in the capital the Toshan is the yeah. capital it's a mm -hmm. big city people don't lock their doors yeah only if they live close to the bar and the mm -hmm. discotheque they will close train it because station <laughs> we don't have trains in Pearl Island oh okay <laughs> we have buses yeah. we don't have trains so now we are going to have a look at uh, Katrin's aunt's place. said that you could go this way. Nothing is locked. <laughs> she said you could go this way and this room. Hello. Hello. Hey, Liz. Hello. Yeah. Come on. You always have to remember that we love you and to hug and to eat cake. Oh, okay. That's nice. That's what it says. <laughs> so it's okay that you guys just visit your friends or relatives un unannounced. Unannounced, yeah, kind yes. Of. Okay, but I like it. Sometimes it's like you are home and then you just open the door. Hi, I'm here. Mm -hmm. in, in Hungary or in other European countries, I think it's... Oh, you cannot do Yeah, they have to make an appointment or something. Even with the, with their parents, they make an appointment. Um, so of course, many times we are like calling and see if they are home or not, right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But I many times, if I know I'm on Toshan, I will just yeah, have, have yeah, yeah, I will just come up. That's yeah. lovely, I like yeah. it. Because yeah. I now I live in Lampa, mm -hmm. and yeah. if the tunnel was not there, I would drive for an hour, right? Mm -hmm. So sometimes I would call someone and say, oh, I'll be in Toshan today, <laughs> so are you home or something? Okay, that's lovely. Yeah, yeah, but then of course the doors are always open. Apart from the unannounced visit, Something I found very interesting about the Faroese is that they leave their babies outside sleeping alone, while all of us adults are staying in the warm room chilling. So Liv is going to take me to have a look at her baby, who is sleeping outside in the garden. In the It turns out this is a very common practice in the Nordic countries, even on such a cold, windy and rainy day. In Nordic countries, parents often leave their infants bundled up in a stroller to breathe fresh air outside. A baby monitor is usually put together with a baby to notify the parent of any abnormality. That's what Danish and Faroese do. They put their kids outside while they yeah. stay inside in a warm room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the kids are in the cold air. Why? They sleep, they sleep outside in the strollers. It's, uh, I don't know, it's a, I think it's a cultural thing. Mm -hmm. Kids always have done that in the mm -hmm. Faroe Islands in Denmark. Also me and my brothers always sat outside mm -hmm. in strollers. And she has like a monitor, which she knows this what's one. happening 
inside yeah. of the stroller so she can hear what's going on inside the stroller and check the temperature as well. He sleeps a uh, lot better when he's outside. Uh, when he sleeps inside, he always wakes up. Because it is really safe. Kids always sleep outside. No one can no wait one take them. <laughs> you can see this scene quite a lot on the streets in Scandinavia. The thinking goes that sleeping outside is good for the immune systems and reduces the risk of cough, cold and infection by building natural immunity and reducing the number of microbes baby would interact with indoors. It was <laughs> lovely to drop by this house. So now I am going to uh, Anna's place. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Let's uh, give in the Yes, we will. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah. So you'll just let me know, or mm -hmm. you can write to my sister also as okay. well when you want to stay there and mm -hmm. stuff. And uh, yeah, mm -hmm. when you know when you want to leave for Ireland, or if you want to come back, you mm -hmm. can tell me. Okay. Then I can also tell the lady, the mm -hmm. Danish lady, if she wants to come to my place mm -hmm. or not. Bye. See you maybe again. I think. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Okay, back to the previous place. Of course, the door is not locked. I already brought all my luggages here. Nobody's home, so... Yeah, I just checked in by myself. Hi, so I've just settled down and Anna had made me some food, some vegetables, some chicken, some chicken and fish ball and I brought some fruit. Oh, I'm so hungry. I'm gonna eat first. Um. I was eating and unpacking and chilled a little bit until I realize it's almost two o'clock which is the time I'm supposed to meet my friends in SMS but I'm still here waiting for a bus I'm gonna be late yeah I'm already late I think they're gonna forgive me <laughs> right I'm in the land of maybe you're supposed to forgive me it's a casual meeting not a business meeting I can be late right Bus is here. Actually, it's late. Two minutes late. Okay, I blame it on the bus. Got off the bus, and I am supposed to meet my friend in this shopping mall. SMS. I think it's the biggest shopping mall in Faroe Islands. This is a, uh, supposed to be a good ice cream shop and I need friend. Thank you. Can I have a spoon? Thank you. Wow. Wow. Thank you. It was so lovely to make new friends because they are a bit shy. I am a bit shy also, so I didn't make any footages, but, but, but we had a like, super nice chat about everything, about how life is here. Uh, we like it, and we think it's a very lovely country to live in, but <laughs> of course there are some inconvenience. For example, there are some Chinese products, uh, which is hard to get, unlike in Budapest, like we can get literally anything we want when it comes to Chinese products. But in the Faroe Island, um, there are so many things you couldn't get. Some ingredients, some spices, yeah. Some teenagers are restocking here, and also the cashiers are teenagers. There are a lot of teenagers working in supermarket, really contrary to how one would picture a teenager. Kids working here are professional, diligent, open-minded, confident, and polite. If you ask them for information, they will know. They know what they are doing in here. 
Before I came, I already know there isn't Chanel or Louis Vuitton in the Faroe Islands, but as I'm scrolling around in SMS, I'm surprised to find out that there isn't even a Zara or H&M in the whole Faroe Island. <laughs> I don't know where are girls getting their clothes from. I know the things in Navia are really good quality and warm, but they all look a little bit too grandmother-ish to me, so I don't know. The only place I see where girls can buy clothes is Vero Moda. But I don't know, you can see all these people, they are walking around with North Face or whatever brands, which I don't see in here. Did they get those brands in other countries, in Denmark? Do they have to go shopping in other countries? I don't know. So good. I'm just strolling around randomly in the city now. I won't get lost anyways. No matter where I go, I, I'm pretty sure I will be able to find my way back. So good. I like to be on my own with the best. I don't hate people, I like people as well. Everyone are so lovely. All the people around me, all the people I met, mostly. They are great people, I love them. But I still enjoy being on my own most of the time. As I am near the harbor of Toshan, it occurs to me, I re haven't really had a look around the city yet. <laughs> the first few weeks was full of activities. Now it's the time I should take a closer look at the city. This is the harbor. Because when it comes about visiting Faroe Islands, most of the people will only think about the nature, uh, the mountains, or visiting the wild. Sometimes we we maybe missed the beauty of this city. It's actually worth staying for a longer time to get to know about how people live in here. My English is getting so bad day by day. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna put away my camera and just enjoy the city, enjoy the air, enjoy my existence. Yeah, so I'm gonna stop filming. And in the coming days, I think I better study English, like for real. <laughs> <laughs> with a pen and a book and notebooks <laughs> Okay, let's call it a day. Bye! It's a little bit embarrassing they are watching my video, YouTube video in front of me. Yes, you can sleep in the airport. Watch my.